Hey guys. So here it is finally, as I promised. I have a thesis on the channel. Hey, I have done a lot of requests from people, you know, to ask to check this gun out and see what tell you what I think. But so far what I'm seeing, I, I'm liking dude. I mean, this gun comes with so much stuff, guys. And for our I get started, guys. I don't want to hear it's made in Turkey, all that's bull crap. If you buy anything from Walmart, I do not want to hear it. Okay, with that said, let's start looking at this beautiful gun. Let's drop that magazine. All right, internet moms, we're going to clear this. Okay, she is clear. Now, first, right off I notice, this gun has a lot of features for around a $500 gun. You know, for... 79 someplace for i get 450 for this one but guys i noticed one thing it looks a lot like that one kimber mall i can't remember which kimber it is uh but yeah look at the serrations on the front and how it's laid out this guy looks a lot like that gun i suppose this is a what attracted me to it because that kimber looks good and holy crap i have never seen a barrel so polished from uh a cheap manufacturer some dude must have a lot of time on his hands let's look at this barrel guys holy crap that thing is nice been somebody had to shine that i'm impressed but um uh, so as you notice there's a lot of features on this gun for a cheap gun and be safety i really appreciate that uh enhanced trigger God, not, excuse me, not enhanced trigger, a skeletonized, enhanced beaver tail. God, I can't talk to guys this morning. You know me, I don't edit, I don't edit crap. I could edit stuff and make myself look, you know, look like a, a marksman from hell, you know, if I wanted to, but I don't. I don't edit nothing. If I miss, I miss. Whatever, I say something stupid. Guys did a good laugh out of me. But yeah, let's see that. No slot there, guys. Absolutely none. A lot of cheaper guns right here, you'll get some slack. But uh, I haven't fired this thing yet. But we're going to in a little bit. And here's what I harp on all the time. I get somebody the other day is talking about, oh, you can't complain, your gun's got a scratch on it. Well, a lot of these dudes don't get I am not a normal guy. I don't buy these for myself, man. I do YouTube. And I compare guns, guys. And if something they isn't up to par, I'm going to tell people what i think it was an art of ordinance i have i have has such a soft finish and it's an expensive gun compared to say a ruger i have which is the finish is 10 times better than that so yeah guys if you don't you, if you're a fanboy or something too bad i don't care because like i said i own hundreds of guns guys i am a reviewer that's what i do uh i have favorite guns like my favorite 1911 honestly is Probably for the money, it's still Rock Island, but Tesis is climbing. And my favorite 1911 I own is a Colt. And it may not be a bit better, it's just that name, you know. I'm American, Colt Synonymous, you know, my dad, my granddad, my granddad's all I heard ever since I was a kid, Colt, Colt, Colt. So maybe I'm brainwashed by Colt, but that's my favorite 1911 is a Colt that I own so far. He, he, unless I get a, I'm thinking about buying a Cabot 1911 pretty soon. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. It has nothing to do with this guy right now. But you look, nice rubber grip. These things got some grip to them, guys. Beautiful white trigger stands out, which I'm thinking about replacing these with a red lock grips pretty soon. Uh, nice adjustable sights. I love that, guys. Let's see if I can just look at that sight picture, guys. That is bad ass. For such a cheap 19 I know I'm blowing the smoke up its ass and I haven't even shot it yet. Let's see what we get. Of course, you get two, two mags, guys. You can tell I have brand new. Uh, yeah, just right here. And it's still sealed. Uh, you get some polymer black grips with it. It's pretty cool. Uh, stupid lock. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I appreciate this. Ruger is the only other company that's ever given me a barrel nut wrench. But this is really cool. It has a punch to push your uh, safety through. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, too. 
Like I said, this is what a lot I like to shit on expensive companies for not giving you crap when a company like Tesis USA gives you all this crap. Look up here too, guys. Let's get you up here. Come here. Look. Just look at that, guys. Freaking all that. A cool, really laid out owner's manual. Nice hard case. Let's see. Right here. Nice. Let me see. Is any of this chinklitch? Oh, hell. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice owner's manual. This got like, and you can like pull these out. These are cut in sections. And if you, God, I can't talk, guys. Forgive me. It's cold over this more, all right? Well, you just won't run from me. <laughs> it's cold. But anyway, these got uh, cut in sections in case you want to rearrange it and put mags other places. Really cool. Really appreciate that from Tesos. Uh, but we're going to load up here in a few minutes after. Uh, I think I have, have I got anything else to cover, guys? You see anything else in here? Uh, no, it looks like this. It. It's going over feature little anything else I missed. Uh, I did mention the light trigger. That's really cool. It's not adjustable though. All looks, but still badass. Uh, rubber grips feel real good. Ambi safety's up here. This is a beautiful gun. Oh, yeah, and thank the guys at Price's Creek in Burnsville. This is where I picked this up at yesterday. Uh, great employee. I'm sorry, bud. I did not. I, I never asked your name. Maybe we really named Mitch, but mentioned, but really nice guy. Works at Price's Creek. One of the best salesmen employee I've ever met in a store. Owners, you, you need to give him a raise. Dude, he's a really good guy. Just, so if you're in the Burnsville, North Carolina area, go check out Price's Creek. I mean, guys, I, I, you know, I say well, what I think. I think pound for pound, Price of Street is better than the Buds in Cerevereville. And I butchered that name in Tennessee. So, yeah, I think they have more guns than Buds does in, in uh, Pigeon Forge down there. Yeah, believe me. So, guys, let's check them out. They're a really cool little general store. They have a little bit of everything. Uh, yeah, a beautiful 1911, guys. I'm digging it. For a gun with this many features, you would pay a crap ton more anywhere else. Serrations are nice. A little bit better. Now, guys, I have already cleaned this. Now, that's the only thing I will say. This mother was a bear to pull back before I lubed it up good. Had plenty of... This one was not dry like my t 9mm, 10mm uh, was. Ugh. So, I lubed it up with uh, Lucas. Uh, in all the correct places, and it got quite a bit easier to shoot for a full bat safe for a new gun. Nice, really nice. Now, now they know take the empty mag. Oh, I don't care. Oh wow, see, really nice on injection. Now, guys, I am first when we get ready to shoot here. I am going to run. A Wilson Combat through here to give it any, any you know, no, uh, yeah, every chance it can get. See, Wilson Combat mag. In case, you know, anybody can't chalk it up and say, oh, it was just a shitty magazine. So, now I got a Colt mag or in a, in a Springfield mag. We were going to try two guys. So, there'll be no room for error. See, Colt mag. So, we'll try them two good ones and we'll go through the crappy ones uh in a minute but yeah so far guys loving this uh thesis duty is what it's called looks a lot suspiciously a lot like the timber don't guys uh, you guys can leave the comment which timber it is but you know what i'm talking about one with the sort of angle front serrations looks a lot like it don't it oh nice oh nice relief cut by there guys i noticed that that's really nice I said I think this would look really good with red lock grips on here and some uh, screws from spikes, uh, spikes or uh, strike industries. Grip safe feels really good, guys. Look, my auto ordnance I did that two times, and it was a scratch all the crap from them. Look at this, guys. So who are uh, you comment? You know who you are. You said whining. Look, a four hundred dollar gun. Not a damn scratch, guys. Not a damn thing. And that scratched my all my all, all the ordinance all to pieces. But then I had to take that gun apart and get rid of some burrs that was in here. And that gun has a, such a soft finish for the price. And yeah, 
So I tell it like I see it, guys. Now then, I'm gonna pause you, set up some targets, and we're gonna shoot the crap out of this guy. And let's see if this gun's worth a damn or not. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, here I'm back. Wilson combat mag going in first. So we'll throw that in there. Rack it. YouTube hates loading on oh. So I'll straighten you guys up and I'll take you with me here. So yeah, we're going in FPS mode, guys. I ain't got too many targets up here, guys. I did this just a spur of moment. Real cold as cold as crap this morning. Beautiful winter winter morning though. Now then, let's see if I can hit jack crap with this. Because like I said, guys, FPS mode, and I'm aiming through the camera. So, which is really hard, one-handed, and holding this camera. But, like I said, it is <laughs> really hard. Ah, I got you, bastard. Yeah, what about you, milk jug? Yeah, I don't like you. Let's see, what else? How about you, water bottle? Ah, you down too. Look at that, guys. Clear. No malfunctions. This was supposed to blow up, wasn't it? That was wasn't run a damn thing, was it? Teaches duty. All right, one made down. This was a Wilson Combat made, guys. We'll go back. We'll dry, uh, grab the Colt mag. I think it's seven rounds. Back down we go. Let's see. The bird sure is world noisy. What kind of critter is that? I don't know, but he sure is noisy. All right, we're loading up the Colt mag now, guys. Uh, I'm not going to particularly aim for anything this time. We're just going to like rapid fire this at some, into the ground. See if it like will. You know, 1911s aren't supposed to run. So. Let's execute that uh, pine cone. Rapid firing, guys. Well, I'll be damned. Look at that shit. It was. Uh, Tease is worth it in. Why is this 1911 working? It's supposed to be garbage. It ain't supposed to fire. What the hell? All right. What's... All right, let's see. I got a Springfield made. Let's try the Springfield made. Uh, let's see what happens there. I don't know, guys. I think they... I think I got a, a one in a million here of Tease's or something. These things aren't supposed to work, are they? All right, did we get that pine cone, guys? I didn't. What didn't tell? I just shot the burger. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if I can hit any of block way across the way, other guys. That might be a good target. I bet I won't hit him at all. Clear. Did I get him, guys? Hard to tell, looking through the camera. One of them evil Taliban center blocks. Made in that evil, evil, evil Turkey country is where his guns made that. Ain't supposed to work. I don't know what, guys. I'm disappointed. This thing's supposed to not work. It's supposed to jam and do all kinds of crap. What's it, What the hell's going on? Why is this thesis running? It ain't, this thesis is not supposed to run this well. So far, guys, this thing is shooting like my colt. I don't get it. All right, guys, we'll stack them up here. That was the end of my expensive mags. Now we're gonna start into these uh, cheap mags here. Let's see if they run. Now these are harder load. Let's see if they work.
Well, one of my fun from cheap made, guys, already. Hold on, I gotta pitch this off camera. <clears throat> Yeah, these cheap mines really are crap, guys. All right, having issues. Uh, this is the, this is a no name. Freeze, uh, round didn't go in the battery. I wish I could show that stuff to you guys, but you know, I'm trying to make a little extra money for the channel so I can buy things like this for you guys to t see. All right, got it fixed. Let's see if this works at all. So yeah, guys, uh, a lot of times it, people giving these guns such bad names, maybe from crappy magazines, just like I had with that one. And no, I ain't staging it. No, I wish I could show it to you guys, but maybe it might run now. We'll see. If not, we're gonna load, load back up on the other. One. Actually, I'm gonna turn the evil block, center block over there, guys. Yep. Crap, now, hold on guys, let me fix this. I might have to reload in, re reload these into all my good mags. Okay guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, it absolutely was this cheap mag right here. Garbage, absolute garbage. Come, This is one of, an old mag I got from Rock Island. Let's try to see if it has a name, no name. And here's what we think about that. Whew. Crap, absolute crap. All right. Now where was we were trying to get that evil cinder block across across the river over here, right? Yeah. Do what we don't like him. Who's a? I don't know why we don't like him, but we we we, we don't we just don't like him. Okay, guys, we'll leave it with that. Let's see if uh, if I get him this time. Like I said, guys, forgive me. I am aiming through the camera at the same time. Let's see here. Sorry, guys. I said, I actually want to hit this thing so bad. Let's see how we're aiming. Ah, oh, <laughs> take that, you evil son of a bitch. Ah, Rick, malfunction. Hmm. All right, my first one of the day. Let's get this over here and get this fixed. But these are hand loaded friend gave me, so we'll see about that. We did get that block though. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, we're back again. Got that straightened out. Oh, right, we're gonna see if we get that evil. Oh, he's still standing a little bit there. I can't stand that, guys. Let's see if we can fix that. Like I said, aiming through the camera is not easy, guys. And I don't edit nothing. All right. Uh, this mag has been, these rounds has been nothing but trouble. These hand loaded ones. Hold on. All right, guys. We're going to run one more load of hand loaded rounds. So this was given to me. And see if that's anything that's causing the issue. See if he's, dude, I got some more good old store bought rounds. That we're gonna try all right guys like i said sorry for the wobbling like i said i am shooting this through like i said you know through the camera trying to aim so let's oh <laughs> i got him guys yeah No last round hold up and with them hand loads for some reason, but it's clear I counted rounds there. So now let's load back up and see if it doesn't hold up and on the last round of the store bought, which I'm thinking it's these, these hand loads that my friend gave me. They're pretty old. I've had them for a while. Let's get you pause, reload it, and we'll try some good old hand loads, guys. Be right back. Okay, guys. Nice store bought blazer rounds going back in. Let's see if that not holding open on the last round was us hand loads or not. These guys didn't really go in. In the Wilson mag focus. Come on now. Oh well. You guys know you know this butt plate here. It's it's the Wilson. Let's try it out. Cause it hadn't held held open the last two times with those hand loads. I don't know if it's doesn't like them. Or what? 
we'll go back down here and attack this evil. We want to win with against this evil cinder block here, guys. I hope you guys enjoying this. this is a longer video, just farting around up here with the thesis with the thesis duty, which especially looks a lot like the Kimber. Beautiful gun though for the money. Let's see, guys. If I get you in here. Hold up on the last round on the store, get old store bought guys. He just didn't like that hand loads. <laughs> hand load, get it. <laughs> oh Lord. So far guys, this is, wow. I don't know, all the haters, man. You can keep on hating, but this T-Sauce duty, man, is run like a champ. It's even eat that nasty hand loads, <laughs> which God, it, that barrel ain't that pretty shiny now. All I said, guys, I did. I lubed it up good. I said lube, lubed it up good with uh, Lucas gun oil. So, I think I'll pause it and shoot one more time, guys, and get my final thoughts on it here. And I'll get you guys paused there. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Last mag I'm running today. Uh, then we're gonna do. I'm gonna do my final review thoughts and see how if this if this gun got scratched up, meaning. You know, how tough his finish is you know like i said you i'm a reviewer so i tell you say what i think guys because i'm trying to help you the customer all right uh, let's go back to first person what do you say guys love those sights can you guys see what a nice sight picture where's my camera if i get the thing focus i mean just look at that guys that is insane for a, such a cheap gun, you know. Ah, got him. We are clear, guys. Yeah, we showed that center blockers, boss. Yeah, yeah. See, you know, long ways over there. Yeah. Yeah, guys, we got him. We teach him not to do nothing. But yeah, so far, dude, this guy, this guy's been awesome. Uh, this amazing, amazing 1911. So, we get down here at the table, do, a fi do my final thoughts on it. And what <laughs> I think I got for the money of this. This is quickly become one of my favorite 1911s, guys. If I had like 800 bucks to spare, you know, for, to buy a 1911, I'd pay $407 for this and I could buy the rest in ammo. I mean, if you really want to pimp this guy out, imagine him with some VZ grips or lock grips and some wicked screws in there. How good this gun would look. No. No noticeable damage to the finish from all that shooting. Nothing so far, guys. You see, got, you guys see anything? I mean, look your peepers in here good and let me know. Uh, can't get over how good them look. Them looks like I know that, don't they? Rip off of a Colt. Rock Allen, better watch out. Tesis is creeping up on them pretty fast. But yeah. Now, we did discover that one mag was garbage so you guys will have to look out when you buy that it would not feed for shit excuse my french guys but yeah so far great you know have your couple of after a market mage in case you run into that i mean they gotta cut corners some way other than probably slave labor which i feel sorry for the guys that probably making these probably don't get paid nothing now then this comes to the <clears throat> now nah, you know i got something to say like people hating on uh thesis you know all right yes they are a foreign made gun but you know what these has to go through tennessee i think is it Mem uh, memphis it says right here knoxville 
Tennessee, Knoxville. So <clears throat> there are in all right, uh, sorry about that. Video was too long. I had to delete and move some stuff around. As I was saying, uh, for you know these purists start hating on them, you gotta think now. Tisa's employed some good folks down in Knoxville to draw over these guns. So yes, yeah, see it. They're made in Turkey, and uh, that's that is just how it is. You know, because you know a lot of people don't want to pay what it costs is for a quality American made 1911. I mean, Ruger, Springfield, Colt. You're looking at upwards to 800 to 1,000 plus for an American made 1911. Uh, it's just how it is, you know. There's so much more labor that goes into making a 1911 than say versus a Glock, which, you know, I love Glock. I'm not knocking Glocks. I'm just saying, this is all metal. More machines involved. So here in the States, you know, it's going to be more expensive. So, some people would want, you know, a nice 1911, but can't, can't, or ain't willing to pay the price they cost. This is a great alternative. You guys seen, this guy worked. And all I've done, like I said, guys, I lubed him up, took him apart, cleaned him, using my Lucas gun oil, which that stuff was amazing, hitting CLP. Uh, so, I can't say nothing negative about this gun. The bush there still is tight. Beautiful finish. I said, it looks like a Kimber. I know it's what they're going for. You know, of all the features of it on this gun, but it costs you a lot more on another one. So, I mean, this like it or not, guys, this gun is a beautiful gun. And it ran flawlessly, other than that one magazine and some in hand loads. <laughs> I said hand uh, load. <laughs> anyway, trying to quit being immature. But, anyways. Yeah, for four hundred and seventy nine dollars, the Tesis Duty, D Duty, great gun for the money. And you know they go from all the way down cheap. It's three hundred and twenty nine dollars, guys, for their is it their service model GI? I think, which I may get one of those. But I just I seen this gun and I said, like, oh crap, that looks like a Kimber. I couldn't resist. Beautiful gun. These are going bye bye, because guys, I have decided this is going into my own collection. I'm not gonna trade back to the store. Yeah, I'm keeping this. This is going into my own 1911 collection. But uh, these grips of rubber, but they feel great. But some red grips and maybe lock is going on here. That's I think that looked really sick. Uh, but my final thoughts, yeah, you cannot go wrong if you're on a budget. Wanted a, a more, more tricked out 1911, better side stuff. It's thesis so far. Did you guys keep counting the magazines? I'm stupid. I uh, hope one means that I kept, I mean, I ran through air. We had a couple, like I said, issues. I know I'm blabbering. But for the money, and I said that was great. And I was running the cheap ass blazer rounds through it. Well, no, it's a CCI. I didn't know. Yeah, they were pretty good rounds, aluminum casing. It sucks for you to reload. Got love to reload, you know, since you can't, I know you can't re reload aluminum. Uh, but decent rounds there. Decent gun for four hundred seventy nine dollars, but you might shop around and find him cheaper than that somewhere else. Um, that's what I paid up here. I got a little bit. Now I ain't gonna lie, guys. I got a little bit of a discount. I'm a YouTuber and I buy a crap ton of stuff from stores, so I do get a break here now. And God, you know, we need it because I'm honest, guys. I don't lie. I tell you what I think, and I'm going to continue to tell you what I think. People say, "Well, I won." Well, guess what? If a gun don't Live up to par what I think it should. I'm gonna say it, especially when I got this high end dude. Uh, I'm out of ordinance. I got was 800 bucks if I would have paid full price. The store gave me a discount, but that some bitch stretched stretched up like nothing down here. And if he's buying a gun, which a lot of you know people don't give a crap about that, but I'm just saying that is pretty bad when the finish is that soft or the um, or the workmanship. Where it had burrs in here, guys, so I, I disassembled it. It was jagged in here while it was doing it. That the craftsmanship of that auto ordinance was like that. So I had to send that down in here because I said it, it would really scratch the shit out of you in here on the uh, mainspring house and all that crap in there on it. I do enjoy that flat right here. That feels a lot better. Some people like the swell on mainspring, but I like that. Really nice. Nothing on the front, you know. Nice uh, cut right here, like the Colt has. You need a uh, grip, a really good grip up here, that guys. Right here. 
That is exactly on my Colt too. Another high end feature. So, guys, if you made it all the way to the end here, I want to thank you so much. And I really appreciate everyone. And, guys, and I am doing, doing that Heritage giveaway. So, watch out for that video. It's coming soon. And uh, more details when the actual I actually throw that video up. And, again, thank you, guys, so long. This has been a long video. But I think these thesis deserve to talk talking about, you know. You know, if you're watching TCS, you don't you want to send me, I'll do a fair review on them. You know, tell people I think. Uh, but so far, this gun has been amazing. My 10 millimeter TCS is amazing for the money. Uh, it's just a great gun, uh, just a great gun. So far, the one I got. And no, TCS did not send me this one. This came from Price the Street. So this is not a souped up model given to a YouTuber. All right, guys. Love you all. Appreciate you. 1,000 plus subscribers. Couldn't have done it without you guys. You just have a great day, and thank you so much for tuning in.